Hi, I'm Golf Magazine Top 100 Instructor Tom Stakey. In today's Death Move series, we want to talk about a faulty grip. Um, a lot of times people have their grip on in different positions, whether it be here, here, here. There's all sorts of combinations that can get people in trouble. What happens is when the grip starts to move in different positions, your hands start opposing one another. They don't work as a cohesive unit, and when they don't work as a cohesive unit, all of a sudden ball flight consistency, whether it's moving the ball left to right or right to left, can make it very, very uh, interesting to say the least because you hit the ball and you don't know where it's coming down. So what I want to do is make sure that your grip is on the club a little bit more consistently. We want to make sure that the V's form between the index finger and the thumb on the left hand is pointing towards your right shoulder. We want to make sure that the V form between the index finger and the thumb on the right hand is running parallel and pointing towards your right shoulder. So the V's run in parallel sequence towards your right shoulder, which means your palms face one another. That would be probably the most common grip position. Here again, you can modify it a little bit based on what you want to do as far as the ball fights are concerned, but this is probably the most common place to start. What's going to happen is the more the hands are turned to the right or in a stronger condition, the easier it is for the club face to release and the easier it is for the ball to move from the right to the left. So if your grip is opposing and you have hands all over the place, it's going to be very difficult for you to release the club consistency consistently and you're going to have some issues. So try that grip, make sure the V's are pointing towards your right shoulder and you're going to be in good shape.